Hi, Brian and Brian's class. Uh, I'm Glenn, and this is the LabQuest 2. And to turn it on, you have to plug it into uh, um, AC power, and uh, the, uh, the adapter is provided. And um, you also have to plug in the force sensor, which is also provided. It, it plugs into one of these open white ports. Then um, to turn it, uh, when you turn it on, you just press this button down for a very long time until the screen flashes, and then, and then it will take a long time to boot. It's, it's a Linux device here. It runs Linux. Weird. And then um, when you, uh, when you, uh, oh yeah, so when you, um, when you uh, have it all booted up, it will show you the force that the force sensor is reading. Of course, that should say zero, right? So um, if you want to make sure that it says zero, then put the force sensor down on a horizontal surface and um, pull out the stylus, which is tucked away inside the device and it's attached to a string, and then do a long tap on the red stripe, long tap, and then tap on zero there, all right? Tap on zero, and that will say that it's zero. You know, there's a little, little bit of drift in the measurement, but that's okay. To the tenths place, anyways, it's still accurate. And um, when you want to make your measurement, uh, so I have provided these uh, springs of low force constant, and on a horizontal surface, you can stretch it, use a ruler to measure the displacement, and then um, use Hooke's law, you know, and then uh, or confirm Hooke's law, or use Hooke's law and calculate the K, or whatever Brian wants you to do. And I also um, included some washers just in case you wanted to um, um, weigh things by uh, using F equals MG. I don't know if that's interesting to your class. And then if you want to do simple harmonic motion, um, you could also do that. It only bounces a couple of times. So it's for, it's for, the, it's for the possibility of simple harmonic motion that I included these other hooks. So you can um, um, stick one of these hooks in here. You can do it the green side up or the green side down, whatever you want. And then you can put some, uh, some big washers here. And then you can displace it and then bounce it a little bit. And then, see, it bounces a couple of times. It bounces a couple of times. And it's hard for a human being to sense that or to, to uh, I mean, to, to count that. Right, so um, so you can use the force sensor to get the frequency, and the way you would do that is you would ask the device to graph the force as a function of time. So to do that, you would tap on one of these gray boxes. Any one of these, any one of these gray boxes here, you would just tap on them, and then uh, you can change the duration of data collection. So I'll do it for 33 seconds. Done, and OK. And then when I tap on the play button here, or the physical triangle play button here, it will just collect data. It will, um, ah, it, it, this collection will overwrite the, okay, it says it's, my data is going to be overwritten. That's okay, because uh, I don't, I don't, I don't need the, whatever data was in here before, and neither do you. So I don't know who used these before you did. Um, these are quite old, and they haven't been charged up since before the pandemic. So uh, nobody cares what data is in here. So just overwrite all the data. I'm trying to show you what this looks like. It's a graph. It's a here. It's a graph. Uh, yeah, it's a graph. Yeah. So um, I'm just uh, I'm just triggering the I'm just triggering with my finger. Right, I'm, I'm just triggering with my finger so you could see what the graph does. It collects force as a function of time. So you would be able to uh, do a little bit of simple harmonic motion study if you wanted. I'm not sure exactly what Brian has in mind for you, but I know that he's going to have you have a lot of good learning time. Bye. Thank you.